Yes, now you two, what is up? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have episode number two of the non League to Legend series. Now, apologies, as you've seen on my channel, I have posted a post saying that we I have been feeling unwell, so that's why I haven't uploaded the second episode. And I can only apologize, I'm currently editing it a day after I've started feeling better. Um, still feeling a bit rough, but nonetheless, um, if you've seen the channel, we have posted a team of the season pack opening. Um, uh, if you want me to go live for the next one again, I'll ask that. I've asked that in the video already. But if you guys want me to um, go live for the next team of season pack opening, then that's fine. I can do that. But yeah, um, currently looking at the league, we have quite a bit of a um, kerfuffle. We are sort of decent in the league, as you see. But yeah, we still got a quite a bit of games to go, and uh, I'm kind of hoping we can get promoted this season. But first up, we have Oldham in the first game of this episode. Um, decent, decent side. Um, relatively, normally, I'd say. I have no idea what I'm saying. I've, just, I've been out of it for the past <laughs> week and a bit. But yeah, here we go. Oldham in the league. And it would be Oldham to make the first mistake as we get highlight here. Whew. And it would be a dirty tackle forcing Oldham to go down to 10 men. And that's such a dirty tackle by Norwood. But nonetheless, we have an advantage. And we would finally get our first decent chance for the first game today. We'd get a ball whipped in by King and we'd score off a corner by Brendan Horton. And that would put us one all up in half time. We've had a bit of a decent XG sort of chances, but it's a good corner in by King. And it's just met by a beautiful header. And that would be our 1-0 going into half time. Sorry, sorry, we already had half time. I thought we were just playing extra bits, but no. Yeah, we won the lot, but now we'd get another chance, hopefully, to make it 2 0. I don't know what the hell was going on, but Horton here would carry on to drive into the box and they'd get away with it, but we'd get it back in and they'd get away with it again. But we win it straight back to Mandavili, who shoots it at the side netting. But another corner. This could be interesting. We are pretty good off guard as a king whips it in. Keeper claims it, but that would be all she wrote. But we would make a couple of changes as well, as we have another highlight here to potentially go 2-0 up. Do lose the ball, but we pick it straight back up, and we'd get another chance here as it goes in to Michael Jacobs and makes it 2-0 for us. And obviously with that 10 men, we've had such an advantage since the fourth minute of the game. Well worth the wait. But all good things come to an end, and that is a just disgusting goal. Tyre claims it, punches it out, and then, yeah, I don't even want to explain. But you'll be able to... Uh, it's, just, it's just not good. But we still get the three points. We do... did look dodgy, but nonetheless. Will Grigg didn't score, which is good for my editing, but not good for us. But we actually got a decent scout report from... White Gale, so I'm gonna actually go in for him. Hopefully, we can get him. If not, that's fine. But we will keep an eye on that, and I think you'll be interested in that. But we would have Ultraham in the league now. I'm just adjusting the lineups, but I'll get back to you when we are in the game. But surprisingly, due to Ultraham's being so dominant, I have no idea why we do find a way to score here, and it's a decent, decent. Decent little goal, Liam Mandavili makes it 1-0 just before half time and we are 1-0 up undeservedly. I'll be so so truthful with you, undeservedly we are 1-0 up. But unfortunately, Dobra would pick up a huge injury and um, we were forced to take him off and we actually genuinely have no one. So we have to make a couple of changes around, you know, try our best to, uh, you know, work our magic and... Uh, sort of adapt to it we bring on joe quickly and we make the sub for jones to come on and play for the injured dobra but we would get a counter attack here countered attack sorry by james taylor and he'd stick it in the net for altrincham to make it 1-1 but would be offside so we get lucky with there but we win 1-0 granted we didn't deserve to win it the first half we did the second half, so we were the better team on that day. But we do need to look at our first half and think, what the hell were we doing? But nonetheless, 
we get the three points through an offside goal that was cancelled out. But nonetheless, we are top of the league and we are still fighting. But here we are, we'll play Hartley Pool at home. Hopefully pick up the three points here, but we will see. We would have a bit of an issue though, as Hartley Pool do some damage to us here. It's whipped in straight to Nanny or Manny. I don't want to pronounce that last name. I can't see it. I can't pronounce it. I don't even know his last name. But yeah, we switch to more of a Jijun Press style now. We're on wing player, trying to play more of a wing player approach that game. But no, we need to go back to old roots. And we need to pick them off, off the park. But we would still have a chance in this game. We've only conceded in the first eight minutes. But yeah, they, we will produce a good attack straight off kickoff. And I would like to say we are probably the best team on set pieces at the minute. As we would whip it in and Joe quickly just dinks it over. That is such a looping header. What a, sorry, that's such a looping header. That's such a great goal and that is such a great looping header. Just the way he, look at it, Joe quickly just bang. Oh, keep us on no chance. 1-1. One, one. But it would come to an end. We were the best team and now Ma Manny scores again. To make it 2-1 to Hartlepool. Hopefully we can come back and make it 2-2. Two because -two, that was a good goal. But the man, the myth, the legend. Joe Quigley would pick it up to make it 2-2. Two -two, and we would be back fighting. Just before half time. Four goals in the first half. And we are 2-2. Two -two. Hopefully we can pick up the three points. And we soon would. Through Divine. Absolutely. I don't know what he's on, but I need some of it. We would go 3 2 up. That is such a good goal from Reese Devine. A corner that doesn't go right. Devine, he swerves in and out, in and out, and then just blasts it in. And Devine will make it 3 2. But we'd have a chance here to try and make it 4 2. And uh, yeah, let's just see how this plays out. Berry into Quigley, bounces off the post, and Hobson would smack it in to make it 4 2. And like I keep saying, we are the best team in this league. And we would make it 5-2 through James Berry. The keeper makes a tremendous save. And James Berry taps it in to make it 5-2. And that would be game, set, and match. A very impressive 5-2 win against Hartlepool. And now we move on to our next game. Hopefully, again, to bag another three points. And genuinely, I didn't think this transfer would go through. But we would bag Dwight Gale and what a signing this would be for our club. I am so happy we signed Dwight Gale and we would of course accept it. We pick up Dwight Gale, very happy for the signing. Obviously signed for Derby County in real life. So it's kind of not realistic but who cares. It's non-league, it's fine. We just adjust some of the wage budget because we are completely fucked and there's nothing else we could do. So yeah, um, we, we signed Dwight Gale and we're going to probably play him in our next game against... I don't even know who it is. I think it's Older Shot Town. Yeah. We'll play him against them. So Dwight Gale is in the squad. Hopefully we can get an early goal with him to, you know, boost his confidence. You know, he's just signed for the club. Maybe give him an impressive debut. But it wouldn't be long until we get our first chance here. Away from home against Older Shot. As Older Shot try to attack us, we break it up and we attack, attack, attack. Now this game, I actually played a bit of wing play just to, you know, have a second tactic available, but Cold Cloth just decides to be prime messy and absolutely go through the team, and it was incredible, to be honest. That is probably goal of the season. And it wouldn't be long until we get our second Cold Cloth on the wing here, he lays it in, and then we would absolutely twat it with Freckleton. I'm not going to lie, I'm saying this carefully because I never know the names of these Chesterfield players. I know Will Grigg, that's it, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we would make it 2-0 and we would be cruising way before half-time. But we would get another corner. We would send it in with Freckleton, clear it away. But Coldclaw says, no, I'll make it 3. And Ryan Coldclaw has made it 3-0 and we would be well ahead of the league and storming through this game now. But as I was making changes, they decided to score, so I had to come back and see the goal. Um, but yeah, they were. They scored. Unfortunately, don't keep the clean sheet, but eh. We're still winning, so who cares? But that would be game where we would win 3-1. Very impressive. 
But yeah, we now move on to our next game. As we see, we win five straight. Pretty good performance. We move on to our next game. So it would be another game where Dwight Gale starts again. Hopefully, hopefully get a goal with Dwight Gale. But yeah, we have Dragon Red in the Vanarama National League. And we will start this game. And I'll cut back to you when we're in the game. But unfortunately, it would end up with Drag and Red getting the early lead. Um, say early is 15 minutes in, but it's a good goal by them. And we would end up getting 1 0 down inside the 52 minutes. Try and come back in this, but there's an interesting twist at the end, guys. But we would get a corner, we would whip it in, and we would not score. But. We would find a way through and we would end up making it 1-1. One, one. We'd whip, we'd get the ball in and Jeff King would bag it in. And as you, I don't know if you can see, the keeper is different. And I'll explain why at the end of the episode. But we find ourselves 1-1. One, one. So, during the whole time of this, I didn't realise their keeper was injured. They didn't have a keeper on the bench. The player who scored for them had been put in goal. And we would make sure to win this game as we whip the ball in. And right, right Shackleford would make it 2-1, which is completely, completely deserved. But the fact that they had no keeper on the bench is a concern. But it's great for us. And we would win. Two, we would score to make it 2-1. As the, I don't even know who that moves as a striker or a cam, but he would. Be. But I think we want one more, and that is what we do. And with a great strike, and Ollie Banks would make it 3 1, and it's a mere strike, but obviously because they've got someone else in net that's not a keeper, just makes it easier, and we win the game at 3 1. But this would be our last episode. So, sorry. Sorry. This would, be, this would be our last game of the episode as we have Ebel's fleet in the league. Hopefully pick up the three points. Let us see. So up until this point, we hadn't actually had a single highlight. Um, we had gone 70 minutes without highlight. XG was in our favour. But we would get a chance here. This Jacobs would dribble it around, send it into the box, and Dwight Gale would get his first goal of the season against Ebel's fleet. And we would find ourselves 1-0 up after 70 minutes of drooling, drooling football. This, this, this game has been pretty boring, but it's a good goal by Dwight McGale. Dwight McGale, Dwight McGale, Dwight Gale. And as you can see, look, it's just been boring. But yeah, we find ourselves 1-0 up. And yeah, that would be it. We would win 1-0. Very boring game of football. But nonetheless, we pick up the three points, which is all that we need. Who cares if we get the three points? It doesn't really matter. But yeah, that is where I'm going to end the video. If you guys have enjoyed and want to see more videos like this, then please leave a like, comment down below. It doesn't mean the world. Um, next video is going to be a, another episode of this or potentially some other content, maybe. But yeah, I'm out. Take care and have a good day. Take care. Peace.